we got to get to Malira. We always, Malira be trying to get out of here. We usually put like 14 people on before her. By the time oh, she leaves, it's the next day. Please, let's get her on right away. She is such a wonderful person. Malira Green. Hi. LCSW, you look wonderful. Thank Good morning. You. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? You got some new tattoos. I did. That's why my arm is out because I got the last piece down here. And I ain't even going to lie to you. What? I ain't cry. But uh, listen, it's going to be a minute before I get another tattoo. I will say that. Uh, it hurt like that? So it's an astronaut back here because I feel like I don't belong to this world. And he literally took his time with it. So that's why my arms are out. Because if I had on any clothes, I feel like the Hulk busting out and in pain. So we just gonna thug it out. Can, can you see it? Put your arm up so we see. All we took. This is this this side. Oh here. my god! I am an Indian, so this is for Meharry Indians. I'm really big into meditation and peace. This actually says peace in Indian, and then mm. under here, I don't know if you see it, but here's my astronaut. Because wow! Out of this world. You are out of this world. You That's amazing. I love it. Hey, everybody. This is uh, the wonderful, fabulous uh, social worker to the yes. stars, but relationship expert, Malira Green. And if y'all watching right now, everybody hit the share button, please. Let everybody know what's going on here right now. What you got for us today? So today, I actually want to discuss this new term that's thrown around, and I think I've actually experienced it as well. It's called situationships, um, where- what? I love it. Yeah. Um, so now in the dating scene, what I've learned is because people are trying to get themselves together, or they don't know if they want to be committed, they find a person like them, but not quite sure if they want to be in a relationship or not. So it's that space mm. of we don't really have no title, but you minds like the, the <laughs> way that women will say it, like that's my man, but not my man, or that's my girl and not my girl. And I don't like it. And I wanted to address it because if I don't like it, I know there's other people that don't like it. And what right, I wanted right. to talk about, if you know that you're not ready, then don't touch the item. Okay. Don't touch that person. Because oh. sometimes what ends up happening is you never know, like if the other person, whether y'all okay with that arrangement, eventually someone's gonna catch feelings. And then what oh. happens when that other person catch feelings, then what? And it's a space of people are afraid to have titles now. And I'm a person I know I'm supposed to be a forever wife. So I don't do situationships very well because I don't know who I am to you. But if you see me in the street and I'm with somebody else, you can't be mad because we ain't got no title and people be mad and in their feelings. Um, so what I want to encourage people to do is really have that conversation and be real with yourself. If you're not ready to actually have some form of relationship or some form of actual commitment, you cannot expect somebody to be committed to you if there's been no agreement of commitment. If I'm just kicking it with you and we hanging out and we have an agreement, then that's the agreement. But you can't be mad at me if I'm out here getting to know other people or doing other things because there's been no commitment there. And it's this space of selfishness where they feel like, well, I can keep you here on the shelf until I'm ready, but that's not how it works. So I really just want to encourage people to get rid of that mindset. I really don't like it. I used to hear it, especially when I was married, people will say, you know, the dating pool was full of pee and I get it now. Um, because honestly, it's a space of people hey, wait. are. You said the dating pool is full of pee. It's short. <laughs> it's short wait a minute. And then I like this. Go, go ahead, wait straight. A cool. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> so wait. So what about if y'all go together when y'all together? We go together when we together, but when we not together, we not together. Oh out of sight is out of mind. <laughs> so we go together when we together. We go together when we together, but when we not together, we yeah. not together. Yeah. Out of sight is out of mind, baby. I don't know about if that. that. If that's your agreement, at the end of the day, that's your agreement. I'm only gonna speak from me. <laughs> how I view relationships like it can't be a relationship if you don't know where you are if I'm leaving you and I'm more confused if somebody asks me well who is so and so to you let's let's say you are out with that person and y'all mm -hmm. holding hands and y'all whatever and a person walk up to you and say 
Well, who is this to you? How are you going to describe that person? If easy. I'm like, oh, uh, what you going to say? Oh, yeah, Malari, we got to hang out real easy. It's my friend. It's my friend Rodney. Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. See, it's easy. Malari, I messed up. You the, you the expert. That's why I'm work. You know, I'm I'm in trends. But I'm just saying, I got no, we who go. We go together when we together, and when we out, if you, if, when we out, and if I have to introduce you, hey, this is my friend Rodney. Rodney, meet my friend, other friend, like. I definitely get it. Let, let me see. So Jeff been saying, he says, it's either in love or not. You should never put title on someone. You only have title for a car. Okay, so I, <laughs> I like that. understand that, but this is my problem with this whole situationship piece. Mm -hmm is even if i don't have a title there are some people who are walking around with an expectation of ownership but they don't own the car so mm. if I'm, then I'm talking to a person and we agree that we're just talking and then because we're just talking and then i'm talking mm. to all these other multiple people i'm dating all these other multiple people and then you get in your feelings because it's out of mind out whatever out of sight out of mind whatever that thing is eventually as a human being you're going to start to catch feelings. One of y'all are. So then what happens when their mindset switched to ownership, but I'm still a rental car. Ooh. So hmm. when my mindset switched to ownership and now I'm in my feelings, I don't want you talking to nobody else. I want you to be available to me when I want you to be available to me. When I don't want to deal with you, I'm going to put you back on the shelf. But when I need you, because I need you, I'm going to take you off the shelf. I'm treating you as if I own you, but mm. I'm still your rental car. You have no ownership over mm. me. And that is where the situationships get wonky because as human beings, we catch feelings. Naturally, somebody is going to like somebody more than another person. But then you don't have those conversations. So uh, trust me, I get it. If that person is just your friend, make sure they're just your friend. But eventually, if that situation mm. goes on six to 12 months, then is this really a situation shit where we just having fun or what are we really? And I think that is where that dismantle mm -hmm. comes from. That it's like, I'm trying to save, I want to go do my own thing, but then I still want you to be my main. It don't work that way for me. I'm not going to be the person that you take on and off the shelf. I am the main, I am the gift. I am the actual dream car. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if I know mm -hmm. that again, for some people that works, but I'm speaking for the people that it don't work for. But I know a lot of people I've talked to that settles for the situation ship because they just want somebody. And mm -hmm. then they settle for the situation ship, give 100%, and then now their feelings is hurt because this person acts like an owner sometimes and on the other side, they don't. Oh, Malara, that's why, but that's why, you know, you know, everything you saying, I stand for, I stand behind. But you know it's about to get hot outside, and I'm looking for the O's. So <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I everything you saying, but being out, I've been outside so long. Some of the things, yes, you're you're hundred percent right. But when you have an attitude of, oh, I can't say what I want to say. But when you just have a no nonsense, <laughs> yeah, I got you. Got to have a no nonsense attitude. Then a lot of that, I, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, out of sight is out of mind. And <laughs> really? Yes, out of sight is out of mind. When you when you dating, I mean, because to me, I think that when you're dating, me personally, young people, I think you're supposed to date more than one person. Now, if you're having sex, that's something different. But me personally, I think as a young woman, you're supposed to date more than one person. Still that's dating. hands down. You're supposed to. You, you're so you supposed to. You, don't, you have no ownership. You do not. Nobody owns you. That's what dating is in our culture. Sex is promoted in situationships and all of that. But it's okay to date more than one person. Having sex is a whole different thing. But in our culture, sex is 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 like casually okay to just have sex, be friends, talking to a man, and you have sex. That's casual in our culture. Is that right, baby? Yeah, unfortunately. Dang. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, for me, for me. I understand everybody want to be a car and all that. I personally, when I get big, I want to be a house. So there's not a title, there's a deed. And when you have a house, no. even though you only have the deed, you do a lot of work around that house. You do okay. a lot of fixing the roofs. You do a lot of mowing the yard. You keep your lawn straight. You make sure it has all these different manicured things and things to upgrade because you, got, you are in 
trying to one day own this whole house and then you get the title. So y'all go and roll around here and keep investing in something that depreciates. I'm a person I'm going to raise up. So I tell people all the time, get from around me because you're lowering my property value. And that's where y'all messing up at. So y'all keep driving around. I'm going to sit still in one spot and let my value <laughs> rise. <laughs> Y'all don't want to applaud the great people. <laughs> Y'all hear something great like that. Y'all want to just walk pants. That was fine. I wish I had Katie. said it. That was good. All right, go ahead. Katie, Katie that was good. Hold on. Roger said the best you could be, Katie. Is a do I'm not even going to read that. <laughs> don't I, even I'm not read even that. Say that foolery. But I will say, Katie, that is, that is basically what I'm trying to say. I think for me, Mm. Maybe because I have a more traditional mindset and I do believe in marriage and I do believe in commitment. It's really hard for me to understand the mindset of how people are dating in these times. Like, OK, you date multiple people, but that energy that you're going out here and doing all these things, sometimes I get exhausting. You know, and then when you are dating multiple people, it's like, do you talk about those expectations? And maybe because, again, like I said, I'm different. You may be a person that can have all these different people, but I'm an energy person. I can't have my energy around a lot of people. And I'm not a liker. When I actually uh, like go into a relationship or dating or getting to know somebody, it comes from a place of love because I'm an unconditional lover. That's how I am. So Thanks. I can't be out here loving all these people and getting to know all these people. And it, like it just doesn't work. But then it goes back to what we've been talking about, that communication. You're, you have to know what type of dater you are. For some people, they're not a serial dater. I, I don't like having multiple people who have my energy. For other people, they may be a serial dater because I want to get to know this person and that person. And that is completely OK. But it goes back down to knowing who you are. But then when things shift and change, not being afraid to communicate that. Because that's when the situationships get wonky because somebody else is like, oh, I really like this person. I want this person to be around me. And then you got jealousy and envy and all this other stuff that comes up when people aren't secure in who they are. So we just want to be very mindful of how we do that. I agree with all that. That's true. And that's I think that's the key, Malari, is the communication. Because when I was single, going through when I got divorced before I met Michael, I was dating Shreya. And because I'm like you, Malira, I, I have, when I like someone, I come from a place of love. I made it clear that I was only getting to know people. It was no sex involved, none of that. And, and Or if it was, it was clear that it was that kind of relationship. But when I knew I was ready to be in relationship, because I knew I, was, I am a wife, I know that's what I am. Good one, I, made, I communicated that very clearly that no, no more relationships, no more no more apartment. I'm not, you're not my maintenance man. I'm a house. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so I allow my husband to find me. And so I think you, that's the key. You have to communicate where you are in life and you we're in different places in life. And so when I was going through my divorce and just, I didn't know, I mean, I was married forever. And so once I got divorced, I did want to get to know people because I, I only, I didn't know what the dating pool was like. So I did, I dated. And it wasn't sex involved. You know, I did have a maintenance man. I did. <laughs> you know, at that time, I had a maintenance man. But I rebuked that. I mean, I, you got to be honest. You got to commit. But he knew that's what he was. He was a maintenance man. It wasn't, he wasn't going to ever be my husband. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I'm always <laughs> looking for friends with benefits. <laughs> that's what it was. That's yeah. what it was because I met this one, then I stopped. I mean, in fact, right. once I fell in love with this child, I contacted everybody who thought they was doing something with me and said all bets are off, you know, because I knew that I had found the right one for me. And we communicated that to each other. We said, okay, yeah. before we commit to each other, let's make sure everybody know that's right. That there's nobody else. There's and she didn't give me none. And she ain't give me that's none right up so front. Good. She ain't give but me none until later. But like you know, one thing that um, I'm going right. to piggyback. Some, um, I don't know who said it, but uh, yeah, Sonia, you just said it. we are all in different places. Right. I mean, because yeah. I agree. I I mean, I agree with y'all. But p like I said, personally for me, um, I'm a people's person. Yeah. Um, I, I'm a people's person. I love people from all walks of life. 
um, with me loving, you know, people, period. Um, I think it's okay to date more than one person. I think um, what you're saying as far as, you know, when things get serious, that's the whole point of dating because you have to date to know if you're going to like him. You have to date to see what kind of person he is. One of my biggest things with dating a man, and I'll go back to what I was initially saying, how he acts out when we're out. I pay attention to the entire date, how he acts when we're out. So, I mean, to each his own. Like, yeah. I mean, for me, again, I think dating more than one person is really good. I, that's just me because yeah. I'm a people's person. I'm not saying that I'm having sex more than one right. person, but just was, for me, I think it's good to date more than one person. And I definitely know who I am, but I'm in transition. So, Dre is right. cool, but I prefer DeAndre. You know what I'm saying? Drake too, <laughs> but now Katie. that I'm, you know, DeAndre is better. Katie, Katie, get in your, Katie, get in your point, and then we gotta wrap it. Go ahead, Katie. Yes, sir. I really think that Stray, I really agree with you as far as the serial dating. If you are single, when you file your taxes and you have to put single on there, if you have to, if you're a woman and you have to take out your own trash, if you're a man and you have to call multiple women to find just one to ask you how was your day. You are considered single. And when you're single, I think that Malaya, what she's trying to say is people confuse dating with sex because our culture has done that. Yes. I I will date the whole block. Ain't nobody going to be my maintenance man. Now, you can take out my trash. Mm -hmm. You can go take make sure my car get fixed. You can mow my lawn. You can help with this house because this is a rental property. I can rent this house out. And when you're ready to get that deed, Call me and then you can see what size drawers I wear so you can buy me some of them. But until then, I'm gonna keep my drawers. All you right, that's it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> then, big topic, All right. leave us with really what you want. Topic. It's it a really great topic. That's why we went over time on your segment, but your segments are always fabulous. Yeah, what will you leave us with? So, the biggest thing I want to leave you with is everything that you guys said is what I'm talking about. I am getting to know multiple people. So I don't want anybody to think that I'm saying that dating around is wrong. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am communicating is when you do know that you want this person to be a main, communicate that. Because if you don't communicate that, you cannot be in your feelings when that person continues to talk to multiple people. That's right. That is my problem. Because now in the dating pool, people are doing this I'm getting to know you for months and months at a time. If we have reached 12 months and you still don't know if you want me to be something to you, then I need to do something different. And I think that is really what I'm yeah. saying. So go and get to know whoever you want to get to know. However, at a certain point in time, that gets tiring and people yes. begin to think that they have some form of ownership over you. That's when mm. it becomes right. a problem. That's when it becomes drama. And that's when it becomes that situation. So if you know that you don't want to go to the next level with that person, whether y'all getting to know each other or not, exit stage left so somebody else can take your place. That's it. That's beautiful. That's All right. All right. So tell people how they can find you. So you can find me at www.malavertransforms.com. I am Malavra Transforms on TikTok and Instagram, Malavra Green on Facebook. Today is International Women's Day and it's yes. Women's History Month. So shout out to all the queens out there. Check out the Transform with Malira YouTube channel where we have a new episode of a superwoman telling her story of power. Um, it has been dynamic. So make sure y'all go and check that out. And that's where you can find me. Yes, happy Women's Day to you, beautiful. Yes, Malira, keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing, girl. Yes, you, you are inspiring. inspiring. A lot of women like me and others. So I appreciate just you coming on talking with us. I appreciate that. Oh, and I buddy. appreciate you as well. And don't y'all just love how earrings look like they make yes. up the animal print in the earrings. That's fine. It does. <laughs> Thank you, Malari. You look beautiful. Leave us with a woo-woo-woo, Malari. Woo-woo-woo. Thank you, Malari. <laughs>